In this video, you will learn how to perform a bacterial transformation. E. coli HB101 bacteria will be transformed with P. glow plasmid using a calcium chloride transformation. To start this activity, you will need an LB auger starter plate, streak for single colonies of E. coli HB101, and two microcentrifuge tubes, each with 250 microliters of 0.05 molar calcium chloride or transformation solution. One of the tubes should be labeled plus and the other minus. Both tubes should be kept on ice. Flame an inoculation loop and allow it to cool. You can lightly touch the loop on an empty spot on the starter plate to make certain the loop is cool. Then gently scrape one large or two small colonies from the surface of the starter plate so that they can collect on the loop. Transfer the loop with bacteria to the plus tube and swirl it in the transformation solution to disperse the bacteria. Close the tube and place it back on ice. Flame the loop and repeat the process to add bacteria to the minus tube. Using a micropipette set to 10 microliters, obtain 10 microliters of P. glow plasmid. The volume of plasmid you will be working with is usually very small, so make certain you are looking directly into the sample as you pipette. You should also visually inspect your pipette tip to verify you have obtained 10 microliters of sample. Pipette the 10 microliters of plasmid into the plus tube. Do not add any plasmid into the minus tube. Incubate both tubes on ice for 10 minutes, making sure the tubes are in full contact with the ice. During the 10 minute wait, using a waterproof marker, label your LB auger plates according to the instructions provided with your lab protocol. After your tubes have been on ice for 10 minutes, Transfer both the plus and the minus tube directly from the ice into a 42 degrees Celsius water bath for exactly 50 seconds. Then immediately place them back on ice. Incubation at 42 degrees Celsius is used to heat shock the bacteria. Incubate the tubes for 2 minutes on ice. After 2 minutes remove the tubes from ice. Using either an adjustable or disposable pipette, transfer 250 microliters of LB broth into the plus tube using aseptic technique. Repeat this process to add LB broth to the minus tube and then incubate both tubes for 10 minutes at room temperature. Using an adjustable or disposable pipette, transfer 100 microliters of each transformation mixture onto the appropriately labeled LB auger plate using a sterile pipette or pipette tip each time.
Flame the inoculation loop and let it cool down. Spread the bacteria over the entire surface of the plate in all directions. Rotating the plate a quarter turn between spreads will ensure the bacteria is spread evenly across the plate. When finished, flame the loop and repeat this process for each plate. Turn the plates with the bottom or gel side facing up and stack the plates. Place the plates in a 37 degrees Celsius incubator for 16 to 24 hours.